The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? Does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. And if Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Hey guys, welcome back to episode 7 of Quantum Break. This is going to be a junction, I believe it's junction 2. If you're not familiar, if you came into this video for the first time, this let's play for the first time, the junction are basically what lead into the live action cutscenes in this game. Uh, but first we have to make a decision, so that's what we will do. forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You are the man who can win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate you do that. on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Yeah, Martin. All right, so yeah, so Jack Joyce is not making it easy for Serene here. And in the last episode, we actually gave ourselves in, which is what we'll, we'll see here right here. Are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. Mm -hmm. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I say we just blam blam him in the head, but hey, we're gonna... See what the options are here. Okay. I could still oh. try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with them so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Ooh, decision decisions. Well, I suppose the first thing I'll do is simply just play them off here. Up into the past. I've tried to change things. Answer me this question, Bo. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? Without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. Hmm. So, it looks like we, for that choice, we would try to reason with Jack and hopefully make him understand. Then with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I well aware, Mr. George, with miscalculation can often come a contester. And that leaves me... But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. All right, so I think I'm going to use the personal approach on this one. I think that's probably what I'll go with here. Uh, we'll see how this choice works out. Martin, I'm afraid you're going to have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack By the way, achievement, sweet. Yeah. Martin doesn't look too happy. Now, the one thing we've seen from the previous junction is that I've seen where this leads. Uh, I've been to the end of the choice that it shows you when you uh, select each one, like you can actually 
kind of get a glimpse of what each one is supposed to do. They're not exact to what the final outcome is. So uh, even though it looks like Martin, uh, while doing that speech, could die, that doesn't necessarily mean that's what's going to happen uh, in the live action cutscene. It's kind of interesting to see that only 54% picked a personal route, but we will see how this works out here after the live action cutscene. So I'll meet you at the end of this video. Time is breaking down. Monarch has been preparing for it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol. And it can save us, at least some of us. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need your truant. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? I want us to eat. Our group took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! Liam, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone! We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. <laughs> treatments they're losing their effectiveness you're fine no i need to work on something new you should enjoy yourself tonight you work too much as it is i've been running tests on the temporal anomalies i think it could be happening sooner than i've we... seen when it happens at least consider that maybe you misinterpreted something Jack knows where William's machine is. I have to go talk to him. Martin can handle my speech. Martin. Sophia. Thank you. You haven't touched your drink. I am just not, I'm not really into drinking a lot, I guess. Oh, mm -hmm. rough day? Yeah. Yeah, same here. Like what? I have things happen in my day. I do. Uh -huh. We had, uh, I had to deal with some internal affairs. Internal affairs? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Was that what all that commotion was about? Yeah. Okay. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> who was the... Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't... I can't... Uh, what? I am not at liberty to discuss this. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. 
Yeah. What? Well, I guess I guess I'm just gonna have to leave you hanging on that one. For real. This time. Oh, I just thought maybe you'd wanna share it with me. Alright, I'm gonna use the restroom, so I'll leave you hanging here. For real. Okay. Go mingle. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks for the gun. Dr. Rummel? Martin, I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero stage, something has to be done. Then what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive. Filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism, distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios, and if I'm being honest, I rue the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said, I care about Monarch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare for my speech. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? We have control of the presentation. Make it look good. Hey, you're Crocker, right? Hey, Crocker! Crocker! I really need to take a shit. Oh, come on, Crocker. Crocker! Crocker! Come on, Crocker! <laughs> Pretty good choice, yeah. but I'm gonna have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks, chatting about stocks. Yeah. Richard, where the hell have you been? Didn't have my invitation. Oh my god, you're always losing things. I'm not losing anything. Drama. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. She's going for it. Oh. 
Bam. No. Told ya. Why am I losing you so bad? I don't think I can drink. drink. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually hate all this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> oh. Nicely done. Oh. Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? Hey, 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 hey. Burke, listen, if I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. Oh, wouldn't a good word for you? I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking is please let me take a fucking shit. Go to the back wall. Oh, fuck, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think, because somebody twisted my arm. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Kind of looks like a dinosaur wearing a helmet. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Wh hey, where are we? Are we even allowed to be out here? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> So what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What, if I hadn't gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Ah. Uh, and I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you worked a little too much. Yes. But I... <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work. You know, I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, don't you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm there. I guess, yeah. I love work. Hold oh, me right shit, there! Shit! Hey, you little fuck! Hey, that one! All you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab! You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? She's the reason I'm here. still necessary? Yeah. Come on, hurry up. You're a very kind person.
right up here. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. I guess you guys can't do this. It's a special talent I have. Glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> You're welcome. Is this it? The second machine, where is it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things, undo mistakes. Only to find there's no changing the inevitable time. There's just one closed loop. No matter what I do, you and I, we always end up here. And no matter what I do, time ends. I think you've lost your fucking mind. My mind is intact, I assure you. Your memory, however, is stretched like you've seen too much. All of it blending into one, apart from a few fragments of memories, one in particular. You and I were 11 or 12 years old. When we found that vagrant, you remember? And when I arrived at the past, that was the first thing I tried to change. I went to the roof. I tried to talk him down, but my presence startled him and he fell, same as before. Anything I try to change, it just triggers the same event. And we keep seeing that body. we were meant to. I'm not turning my back on the human race. But at this point, 
No unnecessary sacrifice. Is that what well was? Necessary sacrifice? Will refused to believe the inevitability of what was coming. And he became an obstacle. Answer me this question, Paul. In everything you've seen, do I stop before you're dead? to cooperate I'll be here who was he he was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in uh, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's remnant of mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait, hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're... they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state. It stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LiPo protocol could save us. I have no idea. But the, the Cronon Field Regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. We have to go. Wait. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Turn. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. You want the blinker. Fiona. The lab is stutter proof. Stutter, where are you going? There are code on harnesses up here. We need them. All right, so that was pretty interesting. So basically, first off, this Charlie dude is a straight-up douche McGee.
<laughs> you know, he, he's. I just don't like him. I, I I don't know what it is, and I obviously that's the point. I suppose. Uh, so yes, yeah, so there's some interesting stuff there. There's an interesting banter between uh, uh, Sophia and Martin, and Martin didn't look intimidated at all, uh, which is perfect for his character, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, it was interesting that uh, uh, Fiona, I almost forgot her name, uh, that she basically was playing Charlie. So in a way, while Charlie is a douche, I think that in some aspects he has every right to be. But uh, it was interesting that Fiona's actually working with Bet Wilder. Uh, who's also, as we know, uh, working with Jack Joyce. So uh, I'm kind of interested to see more, more of her character going forward. Uh, really interested to see how uh, Dr. F- Dr. Sophia, see how she uh, kind of counter reacts to Martin. And, uh, you know, basically the way he was treating her in this one. Uh, I, I think, you know, we'll have to wait and see how that, that turns out. But overall, a, a decent episode. I actually, this is the second episode we've watched. And both of these episodes have been surprisingly decent. Uh, yeah, like, I was honest, honestly surprised at how well these things were made. So, but, you know, that's basically it. Enough rambling on. We'll go on to the next part, but in the next video. So until next time, this is LeBorn98. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, take care, guys. See ya. Bye.